Dense smoke rose over Gaza on Sunday. Israel says it has achieved almost complete operational control over the northern part of the densely populated enclave. But residents and Palestinian media have reported bombings in parts of Jabalia and continued fighting. And meanwhile, the death toll continues to rise. A Gaza Health Ministry spokesperson said on Sunday that 166 Palestinians had been killed in the past 24 hours alone. More than 20,000 Palestinians have died in the past 11 weeks of fighting. Tens of thousands have been wounded, with many bodies believed to be trapped under the rubble. Israel has long urged residents to leave northern parts of Gaza, but its forces have also been bombarding targets in the center and the south. Palestinian medics in Rafah, on Gaza's border with Egypt, said an Israeli airstrike on a house had killed two people. In the southern city of Khan Yunis, the Palestinian Red Crescent reported an attack on one of its main bases. The Israeli military has expressed regret for civilian deaths, but blames Hamas for operating in densely populated areas or using civilians as human shields, an allegation the group denies. Israel's military also said nine of its soldiers had been killed in the past day. That brings combat losses to 155 and marked one of the highest daily death tolls for Israeli forces in the ground assault so far. <laughs> Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the war was exacting, quote, a very heavy cost from us, but that, quote, we have no choice but to continue fighting. Speaking at his weekly cabinet meeting, Netanyahu also dismissed reports that the U.S. had convinced Israel not to expand its military campaign. The Wall Street Journal reported on Saturday that U.S. President Joe Biden had persuaded Netanyahu not to attack the militant Hezbollah group in neighboring Lebanon out of concerns it might launch an attack on Israel. Israel but Netanyahu said that Israel is, quote, a sovereign state and that its decisions in the war are not, quote, dictated by external pressures.